Hey everyone, welcome back to Alchemy Stars with uh, P5R in the horizon probably next week. I think they're dropping on July 14th. They are actually uh, giving us a taste of what they're gonna give us once they drop. So first we'll be discussing the skill stacking and weak status because all of them will be having this effect. So exploiting weakness, stacking, and um, weak status, all P5R Aurorian skills can add or change the stacking of this special effect on enemies when the number of stack reaches 100, the target enemy will automatically enter the weak status okay likewise when an enemy enters the weak status the number of stacks will be changed to 100 so um it's going to be vice versa special skill info bring any p5r aurora into the current collaboration campaign into the stage can trigger the special skill so the uh, a dedicated skill button so a separate button will be added with a cooldown of its own um, is designated for players. The skill deals damage to all enemies. Take note of that. The exact damage depends on the number of stacks. No, sorry, the number of stacks of exploiting weakness on enemies. Whether the enemy is in a weak status and the number... Whether the enemy is in a weak status or and the number of P5R aurons deployed. So take note, there are two kickers here weak status and the number p5r deployed in your lineup so blo both weakness and um, weakness stack and weakness weak status of all enemies in the field will be effective continuously so it it takes uh, it takes effect uh, simultaneously when special skill ends all enemies weak status will be cleared okay performance of the special skill Performance of the special skill will produce the classic all-out attack animation from the original of P5R, which is the main traction for players and inspiration for the design. So hopefully this mechanic is, is not going to be a gimmick. That is actually my, my apprehension for the collab and for new mechanics. Sometimes or most of the time, it's usually a gimmick. But we're going to be discussing Mona here. So Mona is... A sniper guys uh, let's uh, enlarge this a bit sniper forest uh, with subpar stats here so let's uh, go through uh, Mona's um, skills active skill first here is show your might Zoro cooldown is three preemptive strike Mona enters the battle with its special skill uh, selects a tile, deals 240 damage to tiles along the way. And an adjacent and adjacent tiles inflicts five stacks of exploit weakness to each enemy. And um, when it's going to be thunder, it's going to, uh, th they're going to receive 10 stacks instead. So they have, um, she actually has a, what they call this, a bit of a grudge with thunder. And um, deals damage to all enemies according to the number of P5R collaboration characters deployed. So that is it. Deals more damage to enemies with weak status and dispels all weak statuses. When all enemies have weak status, a special skill displayed is triggered. Um, I'm not sure if this, this special skill that the button is automatically triggered or you have to trigger it by pressing on it. So that we'll have to see. Exploit weakness, enter weak status after gaining 10 stacks of exploit weakness. Sorry, uh, weak status. Chain combo. Um, uh, he has 4, 9, and 13. So 155, 160, 170. Kind of on an average in terms of damage. Deals to nearest enemies within 3 surrounding clusters and inflicts one stack of weakness to each enemy hit thunder enemies receive three so it just increases as you do more chain damage and also the number of enemies increases as well and the number of um, stacks of exploit weakness also increases Okay, so equipment, when Mona inflicts exploit weakness stat stacks on enemies, there is a 30% chance of doubling the effect and a 
only a 30% chance. That's good. Kinda. But uh, it should be more than 30. Kinda around 35 probably or 40. And doubling the effect and a 1% chance of inflicting weak status. Okay. Each normal attack inflicts one stack of exploit weakness. Thunder remains... Uh, enemies receive two stacks instead when Mona first changes from team member to captain during battle Mona gains 20% increased normal attack damage in this round from team member okay so captain swap um, tends to increase his normal attack damage in this round okay so what do we see here as something good for mona probably just the new mechanic i'm actually um you know i am excited to find out what it is as per being a sniper um i think sh i think mona is going to be just you know your average sniper i don't see any impact um that um, Mona will give that much but more or less if you bunch them up if you have several you know several several Aurorians with P5R on your team probably this could work because the stacks increases quickly if you have more of them on your team so that is I think what Mona brings at this point um even even the equipment skill is really really um geared towards increasing stacks so that's it so hopefully again the the synergy that i'm looking for with other um other new aurorians with p5r is actually i'm it, it, it it's actually making me curious on what synergy will they have how you can really make them work is is this new mechanic really viable at this point so i'm actually waiting for the others to pop out in terms of their skills but at this point at five star i don't think mona is going to make that difference probably another gimmick at this point or probably a support in terms of the new mechanic that they have but at this point that is actually my opinion of mona so we'll just have to wait for the others to drop and let's see what their kit is but for mona decent enough probably average enough but i don't think uh will be a good standalone probably good in a team of p5r in your team or in your you know uh, in your team of five so hopefully we could get more from the others as they come okay guys so what do you think with mona is mona good is the kit good what are your thoughts please put them down in the comment section below and uh, hopefully we could have a good collab and probably i'm looking for actually i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to a better mechanism this time in terms of a new bunch of Orions coming through. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for staying this far. So again, for comments, please do put them in the comment section below. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here.